So let me ask chat first. Why do you guys think 9.2 isn't going that well? Want to see it? They should check out the Patreon. People should can sub to the Patreon anyways. But um, I, I have a different reason uh, than what we discussed yesterday on the on the on the podcast. Because it, it, so it took me some time. I actually had to think about this. I actually had to. I spent like the last weekend really from Friday. I started seeing people really complaining on Twitter about 9.2. Then I started obviously the usual crowd started coming out in defense of 9.2, kind of blaming the player base, you know, for how bad. Uh, 9.2 is, um, you know, the usual suspects. You all know what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about here. But, but I've been thinking about why. You see, the the thing that pisses me off is Blizzard is going to use this. And obviously the Blizzard Shulls is going to use this as a C. See what happens when Blizzard listens to you. See what happens when Blizzard actually gives you what you want. That's when you realize, oh, wait, this is not actually what i want so clearly you should shut the fuck up and just let blizzard make the game that they wanted to make in the first place and it's like that's the saddest part of all of this is that those people and most likely blizzard doesn't seem to recognize or realize what the true fault of 9.2's inherent failures are blizzard did absolutely listen to the player base the player base said that they didn't want a grind they didn't want power additions to the game to be locked behind grinds and blizzard listen there's one problem though blizzard being the gaming company here should have recognized that hey if we no longer have power behind our grinds we should probably put something there for people to grind for you know we should probably have some cosmetic stuff or some fun stuff or some toys or some anything that, that actually gives people a reason to go out and do some grinding because we no longer have the power content that, that would have had people grinding either way right and when i say mounts i i, I want to be so fucking clear on this because i hate i hate when i get these wow andies in my comment section going what are you talking about there's so many mounts and pets and shit in the game no there isn't if you remove all of the recolors um, from the game, there is barely no fucking mounts and pets in the game. The only time you actually get mounts and pets in the game is if you go to older content. All of the new content is dominated with recolors and reskins. It's the same mount, it looks the same, it does the same thing, its animations is exactly the same. Ah, it's a different color. I'm not saying different colors is necessarily bad. You can have different colors of different mounts, but if you had like a really unique, really cool mount, uh, you know, behind some rep grind or behind some renowned grind or behind a quest line, people will actually enjoy doing it a hell of a lot more than what people will enjoy just doing nothing. You see, the problem is Blizzard listened. They removed the grind from the game. People will now just automatically get their power upgrades. But you have to put something in its place. You have to give people a reason to actually want to do things. Otherwise, there's just no point. And Jamalman, yes, of course people will continue to fucking complain. Because this is exactly what I'm talking about, Jamalman. You're making my fucking point for me. Oh my god, Blizzard listened to you and you still complain. See, you guys just complain because it's fun. No, you have two different complaints here. The first complaint was that I don't think that my power should be behind a three-week grind. I don't think I deserve that. The fact is, I want to play the game, and I don't want to be forced doing shit that I don't want to do. The separate complaint that is revealed because Blizzard finally listened to the player base is, hey, there's fuck all in this game to do. If there's no power behind the grinds, the grinds are fairly fucking useless that is all on blizzard both of those things blizzard's fault if you're going to have grinds in your game at least allow for those grinds to amount to something the biggest grind in final fantasy gives you one of the best looking weapons in the game it is completely cosmetic but you're going to put in that grind so that you can unlock that weapon it's going to take a, f a fuck ton of time. It's going to take months of grinding. But once you have the weapon unlocked, you can look like a beast as a result of that. You can't just remove something from the grind and then go, all right, you have your grind here and there's nothing else there. Well, what's there now? W what do I do now with this grind thing? Wh why am I grinding? Give me a reason to work towards something. Don't make it plow pay or a power based i don't want to get power behind grinds i'll get my power behind dungeon grinds and, and raid grinds 
that's fine, that's what I want to play. But give me a reason for this grind. Everything should have a goal that you can work towards. When you just have grinds with no goal in sight, of course people are going to complain. And the argument from players, Jamalman like yourself, going, oh my god, it doesn't matter what Blizzard does, they're always just going to fucking complain. It's short-sighted and it doesn't help the game. You're not actually helping when you try to defend Blizzard. You're just making things worse. Instead, try and figure out why are people complaining. Recognize and realize that people are complaining about two different things and that both of those things can be fixed if Blizzard simply pulled out their finger and actually started doing some work. Uh, myself and Apocalypse were talking about this yesterday on the, on the podcast for patrons. There are so many things that Blizzard can do to increase the fun that players are having in World of Warcraft with not really that much extra effort. If you if you keep all of the content in WoW and you just figure out a new way to release said content, you'll have better content, more polished content, more frequent content, and whenever people get to that dip where they kind of get bored, there's nothing really else, boom, more content comes your way and you keep it alive. It's actually something that Final Fantasy does, I would say, a hell of a lot better than any other game I've ever played. Final Fantasy's individual patches don't have that much content in it. But when you start putting the patches together and you start putting the content together over the course of an expansion, those expansions are fucking stacked. Blizzard needs to learn that, and, and I'll put this in a simple sentence. Blizzard needs to realize that not every single patch in World of Warcraft needs to be a new game. You have your game. Every patch should be an addition to that game. If you start looking at it that way, you're going to make a better game overall. Because now you're not replacing every piece of content with new content that now needs to serve the masses for six months. You're simply adding more content. And over the course of a year, half a pa like half of the expansion, people have so much content they don't know what to do with themselves. That's the trick. If Blizzard can nail that down in 10.0, oh boy. Is World of Warcraft going to be well on their fucking way? Is World of Warcraft going to be well on their way?